All spikes in crimes, nothing new, but when the numbers rise so early in the year and in such rapid succession, clearly that's when worry sets in and strategies have to shift into second gear. And while all signs seem to point to a losing battle, a key figure on the front line of the local war on the crime insists otherwise. 25 homicides a few weeks into 2024, no easy pill to swallow. But police seem to be getting somewhere in efforts to nab the perpetrators and eventually bring them to justice. Appearing Tuesday as a guest on the ZNS TV's primetime broadcast, Assault on Crime, alongside other members of the RBPF's top brass, Assistant Commissioner of Police with responsibility for crime management, Warren Johnson, says to date, 13 of those slayings have been solved. Um, before the end of the week, we have concluded um, two more of those. And so the remaining 10 are still under active investigation. And so we do believe that we have now turned the corner as it relates to the spike that we've seen. A glimmer of hope in the face of the impact repeated homicides have had on the country's main economic engine in recent weeks, coupled with claims that American cruise visitors Amber Shera and Dongela Dobson had been sexually assaulted by employees of a local facility on Grand Bahama. The two alleged that minutes after purchasing drinks from an establishment, they felt dizzy, eventually losing consciousness. This is when they claim they were sexually assaulted. The matter picked up a string of international press, potentially tarnishing the Bahamas' long-held reputation as paradise. Though keeping much of the details under wraps, ACB Johnson did reveal this. We were able to secure from the resort quite a bit of uh, CCTV footage that we have examined, we've looked at it, and we are con we're right now presently in discussions and consultation with the DPP on the way forward. And in time, that matter would be um, concluded. The senior officer vowed that when all said and done and investigations into the matter are complete, the facts of the case will be revealed. We have no choice. We have to investigate the matter thoroughly. We have to present the facts as they are um, and let the chips fall where they may. Um, I am satisfied from where I sit and what I know of the matter that we are making significant progress with those investigations. Police Commissioner Clayton Fernander has yet to brief the public on how 2023's crime stats stacked up, but according to Johnson, there were good gains, and so much so that they will press on with last year's strategies, adding a few. What we're doing now is we're trying to contain what has happened. We are satisfied that we have identified those individuals who are responsible for these matters, and we've also, through our requests, to have the amendments made to the current bail act that will also assist us. Amendments to the bail act have been passed in both houses. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook.